Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Thanks for joining me again for another pour video. So I am going to do a swipe. I'm going to show you my colors. I'm going to show you that I have this gold. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is 24 karat gold by Deco Art. Like, look at that. Just beautiful. Um, now, when this is mixed up, it actually looks not as not quite as bright. I'll show you the two to compare. It's because of the glue. Um, when that dries, it'll be just like this one. So no worries. So I'm using that one. I'm using this Deco Art Silver. I'll show you this one in the container too. Isn't that pretty? I have a titanium white. This is by Montmart. Phthalo blue, this is by Saks, and I have added a little bit of um, metallic blue to that. I have purple by Montmartre. And this has a little iridescent pour and medium mixed with it. I'm also using cerulean blue. This is by Artist Loft, and I have some of that iridescent pour and medium in that as well. As you can see, these are pretty thick. I have a Deco Art Neon Pink. I have it in a, in a bottle here, so I'm just going to show you. It's pretty bright. And a Pebeo Iridescent Green Yellow. Again, this is in a bottle too. Whoops, I dropped some of that there. I guess you can just see it there. <laughs> these colors are going to look really good together, right? Now these are mixed how I always mix them. Same recipe, I always use They're on the thicker side. And then for my salad after beater, I, I'm going to use black. It's mixed pretty thin. Just kind of runs right off there. And that is Amsterdam's. Sorry for the messy bottle. <laughs> so this is mixed differently. I did this one with one part paint and four times float drop and a little water. So it's pretty thin. So it's really heavy. It's gonna run right down. And I think that will make some pretty interesting cells. All right, so I, as you can see, I already have this covered in white. It's a paint over. I'm trying to experiment that I don't want to use a super expensive canvas or anything so it's just an older one i covered it in white covered the edges it's all good to go all right now i'm gonna put these on here and hopefully i don't have end up with too much paint this is a really small canvas right so so that was the purple oh drop some there This is the silver. There's the 24 karat gold by Deco Art. There's the phthalo blue with that shimmer added. Let's try this iridescent blue green. I'm gonna add a little of this titanium white. I just wanna make sure that this doesn't end up being too dark. I want to make sure there's some white left in it. I'm not sure if the uh, any of the base coat's going to show. So here is the Deco Art Hot Pink. I'm really tempted to put some of this in closer to the center too because I really want this to show up. And I, yeah. Neon colors are really, tra they're transparent. So they end up getting washed away. This is a cerulean blue with that shimmer added. Isn't that pretty? All right, now that Amsterdam's black for the cell activator, I'm just gonna put this right in the middle. I have these, um, I have wet paper towels. 
I cut them into little strips and I just got it wet and I just squeezed the water out so it's just damp. And that's just gonna help, when I drag this over top of the paint, it'll just help, help save some of it so it doesn't all come with the paper towel. I was actually gonna put this on a spinner. I'm just gonna move this to a spinner. This is not to spin it, it's just so that I can turn it and do the other side easily. I wanna, I wanna be able to pull all the strips towards myself. Now should I start in the middle? And then I was gonna pull it back towards myself. Isn't this pretty so far? I think I'll just do all one side and then, then turn it around. Otherwise I'm gonna make you really dizzy. Oh, those metallics look so good. It's shimmery. I hope my camera's picking that up. I think I'm gonna, I definitely didn't, didn't have enough black, so I'm gonna put some more. Made it that big time. I'm going to put a little more down of all of them. I don't think I need this spinner. Very, very colorful. I'm really happy with these colors. I'm not really so happy with the center, I don't think. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. I think I have to let this dry and um, and look at it. <laughs> I'm really happy with the amount of shimmer that's showing up. Isn't that pretty though? All right, let's just see how this is when it's dry. All right, here we are. I don't have any varnish or resin or anything on this. This is just, it's just the paint dry. It turned out pretty good. Like, I'm not overly happy with the center. I just found it looks a little choppy, but you know, it's different. Sometimes something different is really good. It makes it a little more abstract. You don't want everything on your wall to be the exact same thing, right? Um, the colors are super vibrant. I'm really happy how everything turned out. I just wanted to show you this at another angle. Okay, straight up and down, it kind of, I kind of like the center a little better this way. Um, what do you think though? Which way do you like it? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.